So one of the things that I love in breweries is Cool Brewery Tech. And there's a machine that can actually tell you if your tank is clean after you've done a CIP. Let's take a look at that. When we empty uh, the tank from a batch of beer that we previously brewed, we need to turn the tank around, clean it, sanitize it, and get it ready to receive the next batch of wort. The really important thing is that uh, we need to make sure that there's the only thing that survives inside uh, that tank is the yeast that we're gonna be pitching for that batch of beer. Your tank needs to be cleaned and sanitized effectively after every batch. If your tank isn't cleaned properly, then what can happen is some of the microorganisms that were in the tank prior to you brewing your current batch uh, can wind up in your beer and can infect your beer and cause off flavours. Uh, and that means that your beer is not true to brand. And the other problem is, is because we're looking for microorganisms, it's not really practical to sort of take a swab from a tank, go and plate it up in the lab and grow it because that can take up to 10 days. And also the other challenge that we face is when you've got big tanks like these, it's really difficult to do a visual inspection of the tank to check that it's clean. So how do we make sure that our tank is clean and ready to receive work? So what we need is a way to check that the tank is clean that's super fast, ultra sensitive and very reliable. The good news is, is that there's a machine that can actually tell you if the tank's clean or not and is really, really sensitive. And the secret, fireflies. But first, this video is brought to you by The Fifth Ingredient, makers of Beer 30. Beer 30 is the all-in-one data management system for successful craft breweries to use their data for real-time process improvement. Get rid of those spreadsheets and whiteboards and take control of your brewery intelligence today. Organise your free demo, click the link in the description below. The ATP meter is a way for a brewer to very quickly check that the tank is clean uh, every time they run uh, a CIP and a SANI of a tank. Every living thing has uh, a molecule in it called ATP, which stands for adenosine triphosphate. It's basically the life force that exists in uh, us as human beings, animals, plants, and even microorganisms like yeast and bacteria. So what you need when you're using an ATP meter is you need your ATP meter and you need one of these single use sticks. Uh, and so basically the stick goes inside the ATP meter, uh, we close the lid and we can hit a button and take a measurement. These sticks that are used uh, with the ATP meter are quite special because uh, down the bottom here is the point where we take our sample, where we might dip this into some rinse water or we might take a swab from inside a, a tank or a valve. And at the top here, you'll see that there's some liquid, um, which is actually an enzyme. And the really cool thing about this enzyme is uh, it actually comes from fireflies. So what happens with luciferase uh, enzyme is when it comes in contact with ATP, it breaks off a couple of the phosphate molecules and actually uh, glows. And so the ATP meter, what it does is it basically measures the glowing that happens and that's a way in which it can tell you if there's ATP inside your tank. What the ATP meter is able to do, so what it does is it basically measures the light that's generated by the luciferase enzyme and as we put the sample stick inside and we close the lid, um, inside the ATP meter is very, very dark. And so what the machine's able to do is to measure that glow and it gives you a number that tells you whether the tank is clean or not. And the unit of measure for an ATP meter is RLU, which stands for relative light unit. One of the things you've got to be really cautious about is uh, different brands of ATP meter all use the same unit of measure, RLU. Um, however, the sensitivity of different brands can vary, uh, so you need to check with your manufacturer uh, to work out what RLU number means that your tank is clean uh, in your brewery. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I've got my cold liquor tank here. Uh, not that you normally check a cold liquor tank, but uh, today we're going to check if there's any ATP inside the cold liquor tank. Uh, so what I've got here is I've got my sample point here uh, where I'll get some uh, water out of the cold liquor tank uh, and we'll grab a sample and we'll run through it. So all I need to do is I just need to open the valve there, just get a steady flow. I'll get this out of the bloody way. 
get my ATP meter in my pants. And so what I need to do is I just basically take the top off the swab like so, quickly dip it into the uh, sample stream, back in, turn that off, and we're almost ready to check. What we do now is you can see there's the enzyme uh, at the top of the, the luciferase on the top of the uh, ATP stick. And all I do is I basically snap the stick at the top, squeeze the enzyme down into the sample at the bottom, give it a bit of a shake, uh, give it a minute or so, and we're ready to put it in the ATP meter. So now I've got the ATP meter ready. I've got my sample stick with my sample and it's been activated by the luciferase enzyme. All I do is pop the stick into the ATP meter, press the OK button, gives a 15 second countdown, and then at the end, it'll give us a number. It'll give us our RLU number and tell us how clean the cold liquor tank is. Oh, that's suspense. And as you can see, we've got a zero count, which means inside the cold liquor tank is absolutely clean. So that's a good result. So let's check something that might be actually dirty, which is my beard. All right, so all I need to do, rub it on my beard like so, back in, give it a bit of a shake, back in the machine, and let's take a look. Oh, come on, here we go. How clean is my beard? 17. So as you can see, just by rubbing uh, the ATP stick on my beard, and it was just a couple of rubs, you can actually see that there's actually ATP in my beard. That's because I'm alive, basically. If you want to know how I help professional brewers make world-class beer in their breweries, head on over to my website. Thanks heaps for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you in the next episode.